Hi, my name is Alejandro de Blasi. I work as product management and agile facilitator. And I'm one of the group leaders in the Spanish group in Miro community. Of course, you know, Miro is the greatest tool to run online workshops or have brainstorming sessions. But you can also create a lot of other things with Miro, like planning your social media content. I wanted to show you in this short video, how do I use Miro to plan my social media content? One day I was thinking about what should I post on Instagram or LinkedIn? Should I talk about soft or hard skills or create carousels about agile frameworks? Do book reviews? Talk about new tools or tricks? Should I do a YouTube video? And many more ideas came out. So I ended up with a frame with cool ideas to post. So I asked myself, how can I organize and plan all this content? Well, in a new frame and using a mirror table, I grouped my post ideas and then I matched the content with the social network that I wanted to publish on. Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, or even in my personal blog. And also select what kind of post will be, a video, carousel, an Instagram story, or a single post. For example, in my opinion, the book's reviews are great content for my Instagram and my LinkedIn, so I will post it on both. Then I wanted to know how can I plan all this content in my Instagram feed? How can I put this in the Instagram feed? And this is the idea that I love the most. I created an Instagram feed looks like template, where I can use a sticky note to indicate how I'm going to present the post on the Instagram feed. I use tag on the sticky notes to mark if the post is going to be a carousel or a single post. For LinkedIn, I made a similar template, but as my content will be a little bit different on this social media, I decided to add the image that will support my post. And also, I use a sticky note to indicate the publication title. As these templates are built based on tables, I could ask as many rows as I need to plan the week, month, or even the quarter. It all depends on your post frequency and how much do you post. If you are using several social networks and you're planning content on every one of them, you can create a Monday planner in which every column represents a social network and every road is a week. And you can use cards with tags to indicate the title, type, or size of your post. And also, if you open every card, you could write down your publication copy and this will help you by the time you're publishing. This is part of my experience using Miro to plan my content on the social media. I hope this video helped you and gave you some new ideas to use Miro with your team or even in your personal projects. Hope to see you next time.